Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from Charlie. An incarcerated individual at the Leon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To accept charges and consent to this recorded call, press 1. To refuse, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Mom. Hey, honey, what's the matter? Hey, so, yeah, nothing. The phone just went down, so it, yeah, it, it took me a while to call. I figured it did it like five times already, and then when I was talking to you, I realized you're not hearing me, so I waited and waited. And, yeah. and then I tried to get my PIN number to work, and then my PIN number was in use, so I kept mm. hanging up and calling it back, so sorry. Oh, I knew it had to be, no, I knew it had to be something. <laughs> so but I go anywhere. Did you hear the part about um, Rick and Susan are here? Did you hear that? No, no, I didn't hear that. Okay. Okay, so um, there's a lot of things that need addressing very quickly. And I called Susan, it's basically a full Roman, and it's because certain accounts had to be pulled. It's not because we wanted to, but we were forced to, so I needed to straighten things out for Roman, and, and I had to do it okay. fast. And Susan was very kind, and she and Rick got here before, about 10 minutes before your first phone call. So they're yeah. here, and we're both, she's doing all kinds of paperwork with Dad, and, um, and I'm doing some other stuff with um, <laughs> We're going to get everything straightened out, okay? It has, to get, it has to get done, and unfortunately, there's a time on this, which I wish was <laughs> I don't even know what to say. There's nothing, there's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. You got shafted is what happened. You got shafted. No, I fucking, I fucking knew it. I mean, it wasn't even like, a, I, I just should have gone with my gut and like fucking ate myself. It wasn't even, it honestly wasn't even, it wasn't, it was literally like, you, you could get a, you could get a, you get an, an appeal, one in a million, go get a fucking new retrial. Most people who get a new retrial don't have a case like mine. My case will have more median on the retrial than the ones on this trial. There is no way. I mean, what am I going to do? Is another case in Tallahassee? Is it going to move it to somewhere in the panhandle? Like, wherever you find the case, it's going to be the same shit with the bloggers and the press and the this and the that. It's like, you know, it's just to me, like, look, it was very real. They said, look, we're going to try. We're going to look at everything. You know, no one fucking popped up. Nine months from now, a juror can write something that's stupid, and you can find out something was done improper, you know, but then, you know, you got to try the case again, obviously. Right. It's like the same, you know, it's like we won't be there with the same mentality, but it's like what, what Kaplan did for her closing with all the lies and, and the made-for-TV drama of, like, of, of all of, of what she put up, like, what, what, like, there will never be another outcome with what she did up there, with, with the pictures being left up there for five, ten minutes at a time. Like, she, she dumped it down and put in a bunch of lies, and it was like, and she dummied it down. She dummied it down for a bunch of dummies, and it, and it flew. Yeah, and, it, and that's, that's who was buying it, and she put on her Tallahassee show and put on some emails that were written by somebody else, and, took seconds to the out and then put, you know, and then twisted everything around and shoved Wendy's, you know, the white successful girls book that she wrote that she was so proud of while she was dissing Tallahassee, you know, in the book, like, what happened to me? It makes people hate you. They hate you. And you're, you're hating on them and their town. Now you're here. And it was not a closing of like evidence or like credible people. It was the closing of like, what do you think's going on, guys? Use your noodle. You know. If you think he's guilty, you're both guilty. Like, if, if I would have known, if I would have known what fully what I was dealing with, I trust me, I would have followed my fucking gut with a lot of things. I know, I know, I know. Believe me, it was a fucking joke. Know. 
It was a fucking joke. And instead, I, you know, I, I don't follow my God. I don't listen to other people that really give me good advice. And I like, and then I sit there and I'm like, so we'll be in the system. Like, no, not, maybe the system works. It's not, the system wasn't meant to deal with cases like this. Not, not when it's on the radio, TV, newspaper, bloggers, uh, podcasts, you know, everybody at house having their blogging. You know, it's just so, such a fucking clusterfuck. It's, it's nothing else but that. You know, it's to the point to the point that you're putting in things that have nothing to do with the case and you're closing. Nothing. Made up made up friends, made up things they say you said, like the thing you said, like, look, you know, you gotta be strong and like get you're gonna have to like make a life for yourself in prison until you get out. So you can win an appeal and win it and get a new trial and win in a trial and then, then you get then you get out. You gotta get all twelve people in that next trial to go your way. Not eleven, twelve. That's all. That's all. You know, it's like if trust me, if, if whatever it's had this time, it's gonna have twice the amount of people next time that are paying attention if I would have limited on appeal. That there's not other people that are trying to appeal the same case. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. So I, so I just feel like a, I feel horribly like a fucking idiot for not going with my gut in I get it. It's not like I voice my opinion on things, but I just, I just I'm fine. I'm fine. I just go in and out like. Just going, you know, the prison going is making me go crazy in this fucking cell. I know. And then I think about it, and I'm fine, so I think about rolling. I think about other things, and I just lose it. Yeah. I mean, of course, it's still one thing. You understand? It's like, ah. I called up Janet. Yeah. I told her, I told her after, you know, she's like, oh, of course, I'm not going to fund you. I can't I told say it again. I told she, wants, she wants all of them. She wants She wants them. She wants them. And, and I said, no, I'm not kicking you out of the house. I said, I just need a, uh, I said, the place is either going to get rented or sold. I have no idea which one. You know, it's my parents are going to be dealing with it. But she's like, well, when I move out, I won't want to take one of these two TV sets. I go, Janet, don't take the fucking TV set. I'm like, if you're going to leave a wall, then you're going to go put a TV set on. I'm not buying a TV set. Like, go buy a TV set for 500 bucks. You can buy a 16 set. Yeah. <laughs> not a TV set. I'm like... you got to be kidding me. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought she was kidding when she first said it. Seriously. I think she was, she was serious. And I'm like, Janet, like, it's got brackets on the wall. Someone's going to walk in. It has to be... Show to either be rented or sold, it has to be staged. You can't just pull the chat off the wall. Exactly. Ooh, I thought she was kidding. She was serious, but I said her straight. She understood what I said. Like, a place can't look looted. You know, it has these big brackets on the wall just for you. You need to get yourself a, for 500 bucks when you buy a 16 set. I said she understood. Um, but I said, listen, I said, listen, I'm not kicking you out of the house. You know, I said my parents will probably reach out to you by maybe Friday or something. Or said a family calling you. I said you call them. Uh, I told I told them that you got the seat cushions at Jerry's patio. I guess we probably already paid for them, right? I did, but you know, I'll, I can send you a picture of the paperwork, and she can go get it. Yeah, she said she would go pick it up for you. So you don't have to go up there and do that. Yeah, I think it's not like that. Maybe two more days. So. Okay. So I, I told her that that's very well from a parent and you can pick it up. Yeah. And I said, listen, I'm not, I don't know what they're doing with the house. I don't, you know, I'm not going to be there. I don't, you know, it doesn't, you know, you We'll get we'll yeah, right. it. It's just that, you know, we've got a few other things that have to be done. So I'm not going to rush and I'm certainly not kicking her out of the house. I just want her to. Yeah, so I said, Jen, it's not going to be like, you know, leave the house for the next week or so. 
not going to do that at all. But I said, just be aware that I, I do need to do something in the house. I said, it cost me a couple thousand a month to maintain it. And obviously, you know, I'm glad I was able to help you out for the last year or so. But it's not going to, uh, you know, like, the last year and a half I'm glad you're able to make use of it and enjoy it. But I said, I can't keep paying that kind of money every month with that. That we have to do something with that. I go, actually, I need the money. So, so she said, she understood. Uh, but, yeah, but she said, I shouldn't think she's going to get out and leave that week. So. That's okay. I'm not, I'm not rushing that. But I'm, I am yeah. happy, though, to hear that she wants the dog because yeah. she really needs to take still. care of him. Yeah, she's yeah, no, yeah. And she's good with him, so it's good. She's good with him. She's attached to him. He's attached to her. You know, they get you know, all good. And, uh, and uh, he gets on with him for a little dog also. Yeah. So he's going to be going to take care of him. And, um, Everything down, they exaggerated everything. 
Thank you for taking, uh, taking care of stuff for Roman. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, they came down, Susan and uh, and Rick came down, and uh, that's that's what I'm taking care of to make sure that he's taken care of properly. You know. Yeah. No, that's, that's really the only thing I care about right now is that I get taken care of. Yeah, that's what that's what we did. I got it. Actually, it, Susan did the wills. And uh, it was in 20s, 2020, when it was done. Yeah. And it was... yeah. So I got, I got that. Um, just, I just wanted to go over a couple of things, and make sure that it was, um, it was good for him. I know, and, and the good thing is, I know that it was good for you when we did it. You felt that. Yeah, that was no, as long as I have enough commentary and who's on the phone, money on the phone, I'm fine. But my need is very different now. But I'll be, I'll be fine, man. Just, you guys just take care of yourself. Don't get yourself sick over me. No, you know, that, yeah, we're, we're, you know, I just want to be able to talk to you. I just want to hear your voice. It makes me yeah. feel much better. You know, yeah, yeah. That's, what we, that's what we have to do. Yeah. We have to talk to each other every day, you know, and so you don't get out of that. Yeah, no, I won't. I won't. I'll try my best not to. Okay. I'll try my best. Keep taking it so you don't get upset. Yeah, I'm trying my best, John. I'm trying my best. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much, I Just, I, I hope you get out of that um, the confinement that they've got you in now. Yeah, I, I do too. I do too. I haven't even been here 24 hours. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. The, Mom was saying that the um, psychologist did the evaluation. She says she's got to do some paperwork, and then they'll get you yeah. uh, out of that. Yeah. Yeah, they'll get me out of it. I'm like, okay, back in my same time. I'm like, I'm fine. It's getting quiet. I know. It's a box with, like, no windows. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And now I got a three-inch window to be frosted. And you know, the windows that you guys used to be able to look out of my pod are weird. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you just see yourself in front of the mirror. Yeah. One way, one way class. Yeah. So I have to see what I look like for the first time in a real mirror in uh, two years. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's true. You're still very handsome, though. So yeah, very right. handsome. I, you know, I just need to yeah. help you on it. I just want to make sure, make sure Roman's taken care of. I will. And I'll make right. sure that. You know, I that's, that's our job now, Charlie, to take care of him for you. We'll do it. Yeah, I know what it is. I trust that. I got to maybe take a trip on my camera. If you can't see me, but if you can take a trip on there. Yeah, we'll try to do everything we can. We really yeah. will, Charlie. Okay. And if you see me go there, that would be great. Yeah, we will. We will. We try to do that too. Okay. I'm trying to give them a call now. I can get back to Rick and Sue, okay? No, that's fine. Look, okay, I love you. We'll talk later, okay? All right. I love you, man. We'll talk to you later. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye, Bye Charlie. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye, Talk to you soon. The caller has hung up.